What you're looking at is the famous uh, double slit experiment, first developed by um, Young, and or first discovered by Young, I guess, in 1801. Um, we're going to look at this a little closer today, and we're going to talk about its reflection. Uh, if you haven't watched my video on how to create double slits in mirrors, you might want to do that first, uh, because it uh, could be important to this uh, topic. But anyway, we're going to look at how this double slit um, creates a reflection that is sometimes, or at least to me right now, is very difficult to explain. And so let's start looking at that right now. Here we go. What we're seeing right now is just a traditional setup of a classic double slit um, experiment. Laser is shining through a double slit and then it continues on up to um, a distant uh, target over there and you can see we've got a a good double slit. It's a little hard to see from this distance. So now we're going to turn it around there. We're looking back at the laser and hidden into that laser's glare, if we move the uh, double slit up such a way so that the light doesn't shine back into the laser but shines up on a target, we're going to see that a um, that an interference pattern, uh, just like the one that's up on the uh, in the other direction, is now present on the back. So we have two interference patterns uh, the only difference is this one has a little brighter center, uh, but it is a accurate um, interference pattern as a result of a double slit. It's identical to the one uh, in the other direction. However, this one never passes through a double slit. So we have an interference pattern that's um, projected in the opposite direction that never passed through a double slit. So we have a double slit pattern that never went through a slit. So there it is. In a second, we'll look at that mirror in detail and see if we can figure out what's going on. But this is the main thesis right here, is that we not only have a interference pattern that passes through the slit, but also one is created in the opposite direction. This one happens to move with the mirror too. If I move that mirror 45 degrees, that slit right here will move Here's 45 degrees. The actual mirror we're using. I uh, just wanted to show you how the diagram relates to the real thing. So we're looking edge on down. Uh, this diagram represents an edge on view. So the um, double slits right there. I understand the Huygens idea of uh, you know the, the waves propagating out, little wavelets and so forth, but when you run this in a, um, a simulator uh, you don't see the same pattern emerge on this side. When you, if you run a wave simulator, it'll show you the interference pattern over here, but if you look at this direction, it won't show it over there. So I don't know if the Huygens thing is going to be a acceptable answer for this whole thing, but uh, maybe I'm wrong. So anyway, I wanted to point out that when light comes in this direction, we get an interference pattern over there, which makes perfect sense. That's no problem. We also get one reflected back here. This one can be explained because this paint has depth and that glass right there could, it will act as a reflector. And so you could say, well, the light's going through that shallow depth and then being reflected back. So in a sense, it is going through a slit there. I'm a little suspicious of that, to be honest with you. Um, but it, it's plausible. That could be the actual case. Um, it's just a pretty good interference pattern that we see back here. So uh, I don't know. It's um, but anyway, that's an explanation that is possible for that one. The real conundrum comes in this direction. So when we shine a laser in this direction, light passes through this thin piece of glass, passes through, creates a beautiful pattern over here. Expected, no problem at all. It does, however, create another pattern back here, which is equally in brightness and equal in uh, definition. Um, the problem is the glass ends before the um, double slit begins. The glass stops before the split begins. So there's no way this is going through the slit. If it's going to reflect off of that glass or off of the silver or whatever, it's going to have to do it before the double slit begins. That's the mystery to me. Um, like I say, it's probably tempting to say, well, it's the Huygens, you know, the, the wavelets that are coming back. But even that doesn't really hold too much water because there's no, it's all even along here. I mean, those waves hitting this, they're going to hit the same thing all the way through here. 
It's all just a piece of plate glass right there. The light does not go through it. Um, well, it goes through it here and then creates a pattern there, but the light that comes back has to be reflected. Uh, if it's going to come back, it has to do it before the slip. So think on that and uh, watch the rest of the video and see what you have to say. All right. Um, what we've done now is I've turned the mirror around so that the paint side is facing the laser. And what I've done, too, is I've actually painted the paint that's on the back of the mirror. I've painted it black just to emphasize that it's not reflecting off of the paint. And you can see the images that you saw just a second ago of, were of the uh, double slit that passed through the, through the uh, glass. Now you're looking at the image uh, of the uh, double slit that's coming off of the black back side of the glass. Let me summarize what's happened then. We have a mirror that we uh, created double slits in and we shined a laser through them as expected, the light that passed through the double slit created a interference pattern on a wall, but also there is another interference pattern that is created uh, in the opposite direction off of the reflection. And we talked about how that could work possibly in one direction, but when I turn the mirror around to where the uh, silver is facing the laser, in order for that to really happen, that would have that that light doesn't even go through a double slit. Yet it creates a pattern of a double slit, and it never passes through one. Okay, it's a little complicated, but I think I got the point across that we get a reflected image of a double slit uh, interference pattern uh, when we um, do this experiment. Uh, consider that. Give thoughtful answers if you think you know what's going on there. Uh, feel free to share it in the comments below. Try the experiment yourself. Check out my uh, video that actually shows how to create the double slits in the mirrors. Uh, that would help. Then you can just you can do all sorts of stuff once you know how to do that. Thanks. Bye bye.